Yes, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope each and every single one of you are doing well. Before we get into today's video, this is 100% worth you going down and smashing that like button if you haven't already, because Fabrizio Romano has come out and given us an update on Ryan Sessignon. Big up to everyone. We just hit 21k subscribers too, which is absolutely insane. Now, understand. Ryan Sessignon will leave Spurs as a free agent as expected. Time to part ways with the left back. It is already plenty of interest across England and Europe for Sessignon, but the player's preference is to stay in the Premier League. That is absolutely brilliant, brilliant news. I wish Ryan Sessignon all the best for the future, but we have, we've only just finished the season yesterday. And we're already getting rid of some dead wood, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Spurs will part way with Sessignon. You know, he's been here, what, six years? I don't even think he's played, to my knowledge, 200 games in a Spurs shirt. Now it's all about who do we have as the backup left back. You know, I've seen a few links out there to Hudson Adoy. He only played... Um, one game in the FA Cup this season, and he only played 57 games in a Spurs shirt, which for me is absolutely horrendous. You know, just, just not at the level by any stretch of the imagination. He played one game in the Premier League too, and one game in the FA Cup last season. He did not make a Premier League appearance. So the question is, who's going to be the backup left back? Who? Is it going to be Regulon? Is it going to be potentially someone else? We've got Destiny Adogi now. And it's it's a fantastic start to going into life to next season, knowing the fact that we have, you know, already let go of the likes of Ryan Sessignon. And uh, Paul O'Keefe has come out and said, Spurs are prepared to let the likes of Forster, Giovanni Lo Celso, Hoiberg, Roden, Spence, Regulon, Sessignon, Davis, Emerson Royale, Undombele, Brian Hill, and Solomon all to go. If others are right and the circumstances fit the club's requirements, then Richarlison, Bissouma, and Skip could also leave. Just to put that into perspective, that's like 50% of our squad. How many players is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15 players Tottenham could potentially let go this summer transfer window. We're back in the Europe. We're back in the Europa League. It's going to be interesting to see how this transfer window goes. I don't believe that we're going to go out and do the 150, 200 million pound window that everyone thinks we're going to have unless we sell the likes of Richarlison, Bissouma and a few other players. But We've started off relatively well. We've got a game in two days' time against the likes of Newcastle at 10.45 a.m. in the morning. I may do a watch along for that. But it's going to be very, very, very interesting to see what happens throughout this summer window. Ange Postacoglu has come out on numerous of occasions now and said he would like a title charge. He wants a squad that is worth challenging for a Premier League. He wants to close the gap between Arsenal and Manchester City. And the only way we're going to do that is if we have a very, very strong season. Now, we finished two points off of the Champions League positions in our first season under Ange Postacoglu. We did better than the likes of Chelsea, Newcastle and Man United. You know, Klopp's first season at Liverpool, he finished, I think, eighth. Arteta's first season at Arsenal, he finished eighth. Emery's first season at Villa, he finished seventh. So the trajectory of the football club is going in the right direction. And for me, you know, it's now about identifying out of that list of players, identifying out of that list who is likely to go. We, of course, we've heard this all before. You know, we've, we've heard the likes of this player, that player potentially leave. Paul O'Keefe has also said Hoiberg has interest from five clubs abroad and is fully expected to leave Tottenham this summer window. And that is coming out from, as you can see, from the Spurs Express. Um, for some reason, the tweet is 
we just go back on that and then scroll down. There you go. Pierre Mahoyberg, you expected to leave. It's coming out from Paul O'Keefe, a very reliable journalist. So we're only a day after finishing the Premier League season and we're already already moving players out the door. So this, this, this rebuild, this change of mentality of a football club that, you know, Ange Postacoglu wants is exactly what I want, exactly what you want, you know. And if we are going to be a successful football club, if we are going to, you know, take Spurs to the to the very, very next level, then we need to, 100%, we need to go out there and, you know, deliver essentially a squad that's worth challenging. We're going to be in the Europa League next season. At times this season, we've struggled to play Thursday, uh, sorry, su- Saturday, what Sunday, one game a week. Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. The games are coming thick and fast. In my opinion, Tottenham, you know, you know, have a very, very, very important five to six weeks coming up at this football club. A very, very important five to six weeks. You know, we're, we're now at a stage where we... We've identified the players we want to get out the door. We've identified positions we want to improve. You know, various reports are looking at Hudson Odoi as a backup left wing back for Destiny Adogi. You know, Paul O'Keefe has just confirmed that. So, what I was told earlier today was absolutely bang on. There you go, Hudson Odoi. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. That's the wrong uh, Twitter page. Let me bring up the new one. Um, Hudson Odoi as a potential summer addition. You know, in terms of Callum Hudson-Odoi, you know, he can create his own chances. Of course, Tottenham now have got somewhat of a good relationship with Nottingham Forest. I think he's a better player than Regulon. I think he's a better player than Ryan Sessegnon. 23 years of age, homegrown. At one point, he was going to be the next best thing. Eight goals and one assist in 29 games. So he's got more goals than... Brennan Johnson, more goals than, I believe, Dayan Kulisevsky, more goals than Timo Werner, and predominantly could be a backup left wing back. Contract expires June 30th, 2026. He joined Nottingham Forest on September the 1st, 2023. For me, he could be a he could be a good addition to us. Homegrown, you know, happy to happy to play left wing back. Eight goals and one assist, nine goal contributions in the league this season. In terms of his stats, progressive uh, carries are very good. Clearances are very good. Non-penalty goals are very good. Shot creating actions are very good. Pass completion rate is quite low at 78%. He's being compared to the likes of a few players throughout uh, Europe. One is Kubo, who is the Japanese winger at Real Sociedad. That is the sort of player we should be looking at, in my opinion. But look, Tottenham are making the right moves, in my opinion. Ali, uh, sorry, Paul O'Keefe said, I originally assumed and thought Werner would be kept, but the injury might have made them rethink that one. Callum hudson Odoi instead also ticks a few boxes. Still sign another one and a centre forward would be the aim, in my opinion. So it looks like, as you can see, we're going to go for Callum Hodgson Adoy. I will bring out probably a a video on that later today. But Ali Gold has also come out and said Tottenham have informed Ryan Sessegnon that they will not be taking up the auction to extend his contract. Um, they will not be taking up the option to expend by an extra further year, meaning that he will be a free agent this summer. So Ali Gold has also confirmed that. So. It looks like Tottenham are starting to make moves. You know, we've identified Callum hodgson Adoy. We've identified, you know, a few players now. We've identified who we want to get rid of. So, for me, I I think we need to just carry on doing what we're doing and then, you know, see where we end up. Because for me, I, I look at it right now and just think Tottenham are in a very good position going forward under Ange Postacoglu. We brought through Rob McKenzie. We brought through Johan Langer. We brought through a number of a number of people to change the direction of this football club. For me now, it's about it's about going again, identifying 
the transfer targets, getting rid of the deadwood. If we can get rid of the likes of Brian Hill, Manuel Solomon, Oli Skip, Undombele, Hoiberg, Richarlison, and a few others, we've got the back four kind of settled down now. We need to probably bring in more goals into that midfield and a number six in the anchor role, and then just go from there. We're in a, we're in a good we're in our first year under Ange Postacoglu. You know, Arsenal and Arteta are in their fifth year. You know, as with with, with Arsenal, I, I I think that I think right now that we we've we've looked at them lot down the road. We've seen that their progress, their process is you know on the right direction. So for me, I I just think once again keep sticking with this. Keep sticking with this manager, back the manager, back back the board. We're, we're in the right direction. And I do, genuinely do believe next season Tottenham will be in a much, much better position to win trophies. That's just my opinion. I am going to be live later on today, so make sure you check that out. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. I am...